Sometimes I go from really loose pencils to an even tighter pencil and just kind of leave it like that. So let's explore that concept. Let's get it. So uh, let's let's do this. Let's make. Let's go ahead and choose our our pencil like this. Let's make a circle. Let's make a line. Let's make another line like this. And I'm going to throw some eyes in the middle here. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a nose here. I'm going to make a mouth and I'm going to put this underneath here. Let me give this character a chin. So draw something that looks sort of like this. Let's put an ear on there. And I want you to make it really, really sketchy, right? It's going to be a little bit cartoony. And over here, where it says uh, layer one, we're going to call this sketch. Now, we can keep this layer really, really messy. So we're going to go back down to our sketch layer. We're going to bring the opacity down right over on the side here, right next to where it says normal. There is going to be your opacity slider. Now, hopefully you have now, if you don't see this, go up to window. Make sure you have layer checked. I'm going to go back up to here and we're going to rename this one to pencils. Well, let's go, let's call this type pencils. Now you can make as many of these pencil layers as you want, but let's just go with one right now. So this is a little bit sketchy. So let's go ahead and turn this to maybe a darker gray and we can zoom in a bit now. And so you see how this makes a difference. You can use your, if you look down at your keyboard, you see your bracket keys. And these are some, I don't, I don't use a lot of hotkeys. But you can go down here and you can start to see which one of these pencils. If you decide that I want to use really, really tight pencils, then you can go, okay, I want to use tight pencils. Now, you may not like the same pencil. That's fine. I'm going to go over here to the eraser. Hotkey for that is E. For those are my hotkey users out there. Uh, let's, let's play with another pencil because it's very possible that you don't like this. I like the mechanical pencil. Let's see if I like it here. Much better. See this? I didn't like it to sketch with. And that's kind of the point that I wanted to bring up. I did not like it to sketch, but I really like this pencil when it comes time to draw. And I can just kind of go back and forward. I'm not really worried about shading that in. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal for me right now. And I, I may not want to, when you, depending on how you want a pencil, you may not want to go in that tight. I'm trying to do this with a reasonable amount of speed. But you want to take your time when you are penciling. That's a little bit sloppy. And you know what? You may be looking at this and going, wait a minute. I want to fix this pencil a little bit. So over here, I have the hardness. It's turned all the way up. Let's, let's turn this down. So let's, let's take a look at what's over here. If we go under our wrench icon, so right over here where it says tool properties, it's going to say mechanical pencil. You're going to say brush size. Now you should be seeing hardness because I didn't do anything to this pencil brush density, stabilization, adjust by speed. If you go right here, this this gives you the reset of, you can reset your tool. Over here is where you get the, the menu. So just a quick little thing on how the menu works. We'll go in when we talk about customizing brushes, we'll get deeper into this because this whole uh, second brush shape brush tip this is this is brand new for me this that wasn't there before so you see this little eye icon 
when you press the I, if you look over, look over at your tool property, and if you click on or off, that just lets you know the things that you can readily adjust while you're working with the tool. So ink isn't checked, but if we look, we go down to hardness. That'll be checked somewhere over here. Uh, color jitter, anti-aliasing, brush shape, brush tip. There we go. So under brush tip, hardness, angle, thickness, uh, flip horizontal, brush density is on there. Uh, it's uh, the stroke. Things are checked. Now, things can be checked without showing them, right? So we don't have to, we can check things, but maybe we don't want to um, mess with the velocity. So the only thing the eye means necessarily is what you can see over here and adjust. So here we got brush tip shape. This gets into dual brushes, um, brush tips, strokes, all this other really interesting stuff for your dual brushes. Um, so yeah, uh, we got correction, but let's look over here. Let's look at your stabilization. Drawing on digital. Now sketching, I like to keep it a little messy, but drawing with digital, you may have to crank this up a little bit. The biggest thing with Sketch or with Clip Studio is this stabilization. I use it. So we can crank this all the way up. Let's do this. Let's crank this all the way up to 100. Watch what happens. See, it's giving me a little bit of a... See the little tail that it's, it's kind of dragging a little bit? That's giving you a little bit more control. Now, 100 is way too much, in my opinion. And you have to adjust this accordingly. So let's try it on 13. And so I'm able to get some other lines here that are a little bit smoother. So stabilization is really going to help you smooth out your lines because putting plastic up to a plastic surface, it just doesn't feel natural. There's, uh, but if you guys are using uh, an iPad with uh, paper like or something like that, then that's going to help a little bit better. So you see this penciling so tiny little bit better. We just got to work at it a little bit more. Penciling is its own thing. But I just wanted to show you that you can have a, a, a different pencil for both your uh, for both your sketching and your final penciling. And so if I wanted to go in like this and make sure that this was tight, because you may not want to ink, you don't have to ink. Oh, that nose is so off! My goodness. And the only thing I'm doing is hitting Control Z. This is the most, that's, uh, hit control Z. That's the most important button ever. That is because it will save you a lot. <laughs> control Z will help you keep your sanity. There's your nose right there. And so, yeah, you can, uh, you can, without a doubt, tighten your pencils up a little bit more than this. And don't forget to bracket your uh, keys here. And, uh, and before I close, I want you to see that. You can see I am making mistakes here. And that's okay because I'm just going to go back in and correct them. So especially if you're brand new to digital art and you want to get this and you want everything to look perfect, please stop thinking that you want things to look perfect because they're not going to look perfect. I rarely, I don't draw anything that looks perfect. I always have to adjust. I always have to redraw. I always have to correct lines. I got to correct curves. That's just a part of the process. So don't let that discourage you when something isn't looking or if you or if you try to draw this and it's not looking exactly like this don't worry about it it's not that's not the point i just want you to get comfortable using your tools your way all right i'm going to stop talking i'll see you in the next video